Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia. I just want to show you what comes in the box if you buy one of these Alienware Alpha computers refurbished from Dell. So if you open it up, this is the Microsoft controller. This looks brand new um, to me, so there's that. Oops. Uh, you get this little piece of paper. I don't know what it is. Um, on, -screen, on screen keyboard and setup. So that's how to set it up for the first time. And then if you open this, you have a um, CD DVD with the operating system, warranty information, a quick start guide, um, the actual unit here. Now there is some plastic film over um, this, the outside of this um, PC and I took it off and you can see it's a fingerprint mag magnet but it's fine. Um, the unit looks like it's in good shape um, so I'll have more on that here in a little bit. And also you have um, a giant power brick, a power cable, and finally they give you an HDMI cable. And that's it for the box. So um, it's a little different. I bought this um, refurbished for about, uh, what was it, $300 from Dell Outlet. So um, new, these are about $600. If you can get them for $300, figure why not. So I'm going to set this up as a um, separate computer, kind of a Mac Mini replacement, really. So here's the front of it. You see there's two USB ports. Um, Alienware um, power, that's the power button as well, that lights up, this corner lights up. Um, and then around the back you have two HDMI outs, actually that's an HDMI in, one HDMI out. Um, so that, that's, I'm not sure what that is, is that digital audio? Um, Ethernet cable and then two um, USB ports on the back, that's the power connection. Also on the bottom you have um, this area here that has a USB connection. Um, this was originally designed to be a steam box, so um, that was where the steam controller was supposed to go. Anyway, I'm gonna plug this in and start it up here in a sec. All right, so excuse the messy setup, but this is temporary, so I have a mouse, keyboard, connected just to the front for the time being just to set it up. Try connecting it to this monitor but it only has a uh, DVI and a VGA connection so back there. So um, that won't work because the only um, output from this um, Alienware is a HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this up to my TV. And that's my Chromecast, so let's gonna go ahead and start this up for the first time. And we're gonna have to switch inputs on the TV. There it is, HDMI 4. So you have an Alienware logo. And nothing, nothing, nothing. There it is, same startup screen. And my plan is to swap out the hard drive on this. Um, it comes with a 5400 RPM hard drive. I'm gonna, going to swap it out for an SSD and then install some memory as well. So I'll have a video about that uploaded here after this one. So as you can see it's pretty slow and now it's just gonna ask for the standard um, Windows setup. So I'll, let me set that up and then get back to you. Alright so and that's it we're all set up so this is the main screen so just standard Windows 8. Um, you have your desktop it's cut off here um, on my TV, I need to adjust it, but I won't be using this on my TV, so 
Um, there it is back, and then you have your apps down here, just as you would with any Windows PC. Let me launch, I think this is, if I launch Steam OS, just so you, oh, actually you have to create an account. So let me do that. Pause. All right, so as you can see, once you finally do create your Steam account, it is updating. So we'll see how long this takes. I'll pause the video one more time. All right, so about five minutes later, you get this screen. So Steam is set up, and we're not in full screen Steam mode, um, but I'll mess around with that later. So I am going to shut down here. And um, what I'll do is I will um, upload a video showing how to upgrade the um, hard drive and the RAM. And then we'll do a little comparison showing how much faster this is at starting up using the SSD. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, bye.